Hard knock, you already know what it is. 100% independent, I'm the fucking boss. The only unsigned nigga with a quotable in the source. The hood is not stupid, we know the mathematics. I make double what I would, going gold on Atlantic. We'll start off with, uh, with a documentary that recently came out. Uh, actually, I got a chance to watch it last night, but for the people who haven't got a chance to watch it, uh, what, what can you tell them about it? It definitely was a very long process doing. It took about six, seven years. I dug up a lot of old information, you know. I shared a lot of personal stories. It's also a, a journey into artistic freedom and the search for that. And it seems as if more and more artists these days are being confronted with that Am I going to go independent and struggle and hustle, or am I going to try and market myself as much as I can so I can get this 360 ass rape and then potentially, you know, get something good out of that? I don't know, you know? It's like a woman that wants to marry an abusive rich man because she figures she could take the ass whipping for a few years and get some money from the divorce. That's just the ass backwards way to think to me. You know, I, I've always told people that independent was the way to go. I've always pushed that message, and I think that the movie is a big part of that, saying, look, if I was signed to a major label, this couldn't happen. You know what I mean? They don't want me. They don't want the real thing. They want what looks like the real thing, because the real thing would tell them something about themselves. You know what I mean? For somebody who who's did it their own way, I'm always curious what your definition of success is. Success is not about what you have. Success is about what you had to sacrifice in order to get to where you are. And if you're not happy, then you're not successful. Have all the money in the world, your dick don't work. You know? You're on top of the world, but woman you love married to another man. You got all the girls trying to holler at you, but you got herpes. God damn, like that. If you're not happy, you're not successful. I'm not saying that people that have those situations, for those you know, listeners that'll be offended because they have herpes out there, we're not, I'm not talking bad about y'all. Y'all can still be happy, you just gotta find a bitch that got herpes so y'all can settle down in life. I don't mean to call her a bitch, I mean a respectful woman that got herpes. So you can settle down in life. I'm trying to help y'all niggas out. Cables, technique chemically unstable, set to explode. Foretold by the Dead Sea Scrolls, written in code. So if your message ain't shit, fuck the records you sold. Cause if you go platinum, it's got nothing to do with luck. It just means that a million people are stupid as fuck. Stuck in the underground, a general that rose to the limit without distribution managers, a dealer, a gimmick. Uh, middle Passage is that next? Middle Passage, and I'm working on two EPs along with some other people, famous underground legends and uh, it's gonna be big news. I can't announce it yet, but it's gonna be some real big shit. It's not just the Middle Passage coming. I got two little records coming after that and it's gonna be amazing, you know. It's gonna be real big for the underground, real big for independent music. And this, this year and the following years are all about building together for me, you know. I think that one of the big handicaps that New York has is that it's like a fucking kingdom where the, all these little feudal states are arguing over the crown. Whereas when I come to the West Coast, it's not that everybody gets along. Y'all still have problems, but I see more people working together than I do on the East Coast. You know what I mean? The East Coast is like New York, the kingdom, and everybody else. Fuck y'all niggas. You know what I mean? I feel that way about sports. Like, I don't give a fuck about I won't sign a Red Sox hat, you know? The Eagles, they can suck my dick. Y'all niggas ain't shit, yo. Fuck y'all. Dolphins, y'all ain't shit either. Y'all Jaguars, y'all niggas got lucky on that shit. I mean, but at the end of the day, yo, if somebody's from Atlanta, Miami, Virginia, Philly, why wouldn't I be open to working with them? You know what I mean? I feel like we, as New York City, need to reach out to more people because we squandered a lot of opportunities in the very beginning by thinking we were the gatekeepers of hip hop. And instead of working with the West Coast, working with the South, developing more people, learning from them, and saying, hey man, maybe we don't have all the answers. Look at these brothers down south, they wanna be the label. We over here hustling backwards, begging these rich motherfuckers for money and making nothing on the back end. Why aren't we taking more control of this? The golden era ain't the golden era monetarily. You know, that relates to so many other things. That's a microcosm of America. Because some people think that the best time, oh, the good old days are gone. You mean when you was in a drive-in getting head from some bitch in a poodle skirt while I was getting, while my ancestors getting, ancestors getting dogs sick on them, niggas can't even vote?
wasn't a good old days for us, yo. You got back from World War II and you was getting head in the drive-in. You know what I mean? You was going to a Sunday shop. You was chilling with Archie, Betty, and Veronica. But we were hanging out in the fucking prison cell doing football numbers for some shit that we ain't even do. We were thrown off our land when we'd been there, you know, since the advent of Hinduism, probably. God damn it, yo. Uh, so this EP. Uh, uh, you ain't going to get nothing more out of me. You said West Coast, uh, right? And, uh, so yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. Okay. West Coast Underground. West Coast Underground, yeah. Okay. I, I, I get a couple of uh, guesses. You get a couple of guesses, but I ain't gonna say shit. That's all right, man. You get all them guesses. That's like them bill collectors. They call up, man. When can we expect pain? You can expect it whenever you want. That don't mean you gonna get a fucking thing from me, man. I hate on the South. I respect their vision. I just hate on niggas that promote Samboism and white execs that love to see us in that position. They reflect the stereotypes of America's vision. They want us dancing, cooning, and hollering. Only respect us for playing sports and modeling more than racism. It's stay in your placism, all people are trapped in practical black facism. So fuck a civil war between the north and the south. It's between field niggas and slaves that are stuck in the house. I remember at one point I read that you had worked uh, with Premier on something for Middle Passage. Is that Premier is on the Middle Passage? I'm trying to get uh, Green Lantern. I work with all the time, so he's definitely contributing some heat to it. I got um. I got Scram Jones on there, and I might as well just come out and say it since I give somebody new some all the time. Ali Shaheed Muhammad is on it too, so we got and he gave me a fucking banger, real brutal shit. So be on the lookout for that. The Middle Passage, ViperRecords.com. You know what it is, baby. You know I give you nothing but the truth. And you see me walking around saying what's up to the fans, saying what's up to all my soldiers, my supporters. I'm not afraid of the people, you know. I don't have no anxiety disorder. I don't need 50 bodyguards to walk around with me. Come on.